Good day, friends. My name is Busho Lan, and I'm one of the Interfaith Fellows here at Augsburg. And I thank you for offering me your uh, attention for a few moments. I know we're together existing in a time of great upheaval. We are living through a global pandemic. And although this is a time of great uh, creativity and hope and possibility of renewal, it is also a time of very real fear, great constriction, and great suffering. So how do we meet those who are suffering, including ourselves? Well, we meet suffering the way we all want to be met when we're in pain. We want to be met with acceptance and with inclusion and perhaps most of all with just simple, gentle, and profound kindness. So today I invite you to just sit with me for a minute or two and do something that in an ancient meditation uh, tradition is called metta meditation, M-E-T-T-A. Uh, metta is usually translated as loving kindness um, or unconditional positive regard. And I encourage you, do a little research. Do a search on metta meditation and see what you find. But we'll start today by simply recognizing that all of us as part of the human family have a place somewhere in us where universal goodwill abides, where great kindness abides. For some of us, that's easy to access, and for some of us, not so much, especially when we're in a lot of fear. But we know we all have capacity to wish ourselves and others well. And so we start with that intention. My intention is to cultivate loving kindness and goodwill. And I invite you to join me by perhaps blinking your eyes closed, checking in with your body, noticing perhaps the places of you, the places on your body that are in contact with our great still earth. Perhaps notice the rhythm and the dynamic sensations of your breathing and kind of locate yourself and your life right now by noticing that rhythm of the breath and the stillness in the body. And I'm going to repeat three phrases to you, and you can just let them kind of wash through you and see what you may notice. May we all be happy and healthy. May we all be safe and protected. May we all be free and at ease. May we all be happy and healthy. May we all be safe and protected. May we all be free and at ease. Through simple repetition and through the practice of connecting these beautiful aspirations with our emotions, we do learn to discover the part of us that already carries universal goodwill. And by giving it this kind of conscious attention, we can help it to grow. And then it becomes an offering a very real offering for all of those that we encounter who are in pain and who are suffering, um, again, including ourselves. So I encourage you to find some version of this simple practice. Repeat it out loud, repeat it in your thoughts, marry it to your hand washing, something like that. Simple phrases have the power uh, with, with repetition and with um, intention to change the human heart, regardless of our faith tradition, regardless of our uh, 
relationship with the pandemic, we all have the capacity to become even a little bit kinder during these times. And I encourage you to play with this idea and see what it might do for you. And um, I remind you of how together we are. Indeed, we are all in this together. So what you do in the face of your own suffering matters to me because it affects me. And so each little bit of your experience, each little bit of your suffering or your fear that you meet with tenderness and kindness ripples out and touches all of us. So I thank you for your attention. I thank you for letting me sit with you for a minute or two. And I hope to see you soon, dear friends. Blessings to us all.